demonstrate and explain the foam setup. Okay. We're going to start by bringing our equipment over that we need. So we're going to need a reducer. We need our inline inductor. I need my foam concentrate. I need my air aspirating nozzle. I need one roll of hose to start. We have to know what concentrate to get, so that'll be described by the fire that you're going to be setting up for. Hydrocarbons would be 3%, class A 1%, and then polar solvents 6%. We're going to remove our cap, check my gasket, put my reducer on. I'm going to take my eductor, gasket and swivel, place my eductor on. I'm going to set my eductor for whatever product we have at that point. I'm going to open up my concentrate. I want to make sure my concentrate is in date, it's the correct concentrate, and that it's in good quality. My pickup tube goes inside, making sure that my pickup tube is no greater than six feet from the eductor. From here, we're going to connect our hose line gasket and swivel. I want to make sure that I have at least 50 feet of hose, no more than 200 feet of hose from my eductor to my nozzle. I want to then connect my nozzle, making sure that my nozzle matches my eductor. This eductor flows 125 gallons a minute. My nozzle has to flow a minimum of 125 gallons a minute. Gasket swivel. Pretty much your setup for foam. Some things of note. We want to always know the four components that we have. We start with foam concentrate. We have our eductor that provides us with foam solution. Out of the end of the nozzle, we're going to have finished foam. We want to make sure that we understand that if my fire were farther than 200 feet away, I could set this up off another section of hose first. I just can't exceed 200 feet of hose from the end of the eductor to the nozzle. And as long as I can maintain the operating pressure of 200 PSI for my eductor, whatever distance I have to cover.